Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be testing out celebrity brands. We have Miss Gwen Stefani, Miss J Lo. She hates Virgos apparently. Please no one tell her that I'm a Virgo. Ariana Grande, Post Malone came out with Rose. Blake Lively came out with these really cute drinks. I bought a whole case of them. We're gonna be trying them out. Millie Bobby Brown, I'm gonna give her a brand a second chance. We're gonna try it out. And Lizzo, I bought her shapewear brand. Hey. Let's jump right in. Be sure and smash that subscribe button and we're about to try all this stuff out. First, we're gonna start off with JLo Beauty only because it makes sense because it's gonna go on my face first. She's come out with skincare slash kind of makeup. Price ranges are anywhere from like 40 to 60 to 70 dollars but she has a subscription on her website you can purchase and get a discount there if you want like repeat items coming in and in and in. I have a couple items from them. This was sent to me in PR. It's that overnight hustle. It is an AHA BHA skin resurfacer. So it's an overnight facial. Can be very drying to the skin. Whoa, it looks like this. I'm not gonna use it under my makeup. Oh my gosh, not a screw off cap. <laughs> I'm not gonna use it under my makeup because that's not what it's for. Ooh, it does feel nice and creamy, like a nice serum up in here. Love that. It says, at night, apply a thin layer to your clean, dry skin. Um, it's for nightly use. So again, this is a resurfacing item that has the AHA and BHA in it, meaning it's gonna be a little drying. Probably effective. I haven't tried it out yet. In skincare, I typically have to try out for two to three weeks before we see results. Results anyways, but we're not gonna stop there. We're about to try this out right here This is that star filter is a complexion booster So this is a highlight bronze and diffuse product what it looks like is mostly a liquid highlighter Like are you kidding me? I was gonna put a little bit on underneath my makeup to like get this glow going. But as shiny as this is, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some because actually it's blending out nicely. It doesn't look like I'm like a disco ball by any means. So I think this actually would wear pretty nicely underneath foundation. It kind of reminds me of this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It feels really nice. It has like a gel-like consistency. It's not gonna be really heavy and cakey and it's pretty much already dried down on my skin. I'm looking like I have a little bit of tint I'm looking pretty loomy. So far, I do like this. I think it's similar to the Flawless Filter. Nice. It's very on brand for JLo. Okay, that is that. We're gonna apply some foundation and see how that sets on top of this. So the JLo Beauty product actually looks really, really, really pretty under foundation. It's good. So I was thinking it was gonna be a little too loomy, but it's not. Next up, we have two concealers. So Millie Bobby Brown, I have a few products from her I'm gonna be trying. I tried some of her stuff out in the past. I didn't really love it, but they've come out with cream blushes, liquid lipsticks, and I bought all this stuff at Ulta. And this concealer I got in Flow 35, the color. And it's called See You Never Concealer, which is a cute little name. And it has this nice little cooling metal tip. This says bye, bye, bye to spots, dots, and sleepy eyes. This weightless light coverage concealer helps even out skin tone without setting into dry spots with caffeine and cooling metal applicator. Your skin will love. We're gonna try it out. Then on the other eye, we're gonna try out the new Ariana Grande concealer. She came out with 60 shades, breaking the record as to having the most shades in a concealer shade range. I think that's awesome. I love that she did that. I love a cream pie concealer. I love the ones by NARS. And this is what it looks like here. I have my shades here. And then she also came out, Ariana Grande also came out. Oh, that is creamy. She also came out with like a black one and a white one, which looks like they're sold out on her website, but it's a mixing shade for artists to mix if they don't have the right shade and concealer. 60 shades, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to find something. But any artist I've ever worked with, or even when I'm doing makeup, like I always have to mix to get that perfect perfect shade. So I'm gonna actually use this little Ariana Grande sponge. This came out when her concealer came out. Mine's dirty because I used it. This is burning. This is burning. Is it the caffeine that's burning? It's literally on my eyeballs hurting. Oh! What the heck? Okay, this is definitely like the thinnest concealer ever, but I think there's a time and place for a concealer like this. Like if you're literally not even wearing foundation and you're just out here in the world trying to barely cover and maybe see brighten a little bit, I think this concealer could work for you. I don't know why I was burning. Once I got it all blended out, it quit burning. It must be the caffeine in it. Has anyone else experienced that? But this is one of those super, super, super lightweight concealers. I think it's targeting Gen Z or anyone who likes a really light, fresh face of makeup. But 
it's pretty. Like that is a pretty concealer. Very little coverage, super creamy, easy to blend out. And I like that cooling metal tip. So let's move on to the Ariana Grande's concealer. It's more coverage. It's medium to full coverage. It's supposed to be buildable. And I have the shade medium three and medium four. I'm gonna use medium three here. I'll show you medium four out of the 60 shades. They helped by sending us like six shades instead of like 60. Cause if you send me 60, I feel like I'd be a little overwhelmed trying to figure it out. But they helped out by sending a few. So you'll have to do your research online for sure. Let's see. So this deeper one's the four, this is three. So I'm gonna apply it with a brush first because I, the first time I used this, I applied it with a sponge first and because it's such a thick formula, I feel like the sponge kind of started to lift the product. So I had to like work with it a little bit, but applying it with a brush in general is honestly key, especially with cream pot concealers. Like I always have the best of luck with them when I apply them with a brush. So that's just a recommendation on my end, but this one is, it's a thicker formula as you can see, and it is so full coverage, but I also feel like this doesn't crease. Like I feel like it gets up in your eye creases right there that you naturally have, but I don't think you get like that crusty breakage with this because it's such like a movable concealer, but it's definitely for full coverage. So on my eyes now, we have completely different ends of the spectrum in concealers and you can tell. I'm gonna have to put some full coverage over here so we're not looking crazy, but this one's really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. I think because the formula is so creamy, it would last you a really long time, which is good news. So now you can take your sponge and just soften all that up. And that's kind of how I use the sponge with this concealer. But when I went in and just like with the sponge, I liked it, but I like it way better applying with a brush and then blending out so airbrushed. So good. I have to say, I recommend these if you need coverage. If you're a girly in the worldly that needs coverage, I recommend these. This stuff has gotten like boo koodles of good reviews on it on uh, as well. So I'm not the only one that's loving it. So now we're gonna take a little sponge. And we're just gonna dab all that out. Gorgeous. Okay, before we add any type of powder, I wanna try out this Florence by Millie Bobby Brown in Pretty Pea Blush. So if you're wondering mine looks like bubble gum melted, it's because it was like 100 degrees and the mailman threw it over my gate and I wasn't home. <laughs> so it melted in the sun, which is okay. If this ever happens to you, your makeup, just pop it in the freezer and you can finesse it back later, but we saved this one. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna use this sponge from REM Beauty. Rim, can we call it Rim Beauty? No. All right, let's spray it with some water. That's by the way, I bought this at Nordstrom Rack and I am obsessed with it whenever my beauty blender gets a little too dry and I'm too lazy to like, go wet it again. That's what I use that for and it's great. Whew, that looks pigmented. Oh my God. It's so pigmented. I barely touched this. Whoa, it's really pretty. It's blending out so soft, you guys. Barely touched this and it covered both cheeks. So this formula is gorgeous. And I typically would not wear a hot pink color like this. This is really, 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 really pretty. For me, if I'm doing no makeup and I just wanna dot this under my eyes, I like it. This, I love, I love, I love this color. It's gorgeous. I feel like their first round of products were like, mm, and they're kind of like reinventing or either makeup has transitioned to like what this makeup line is and it works better for this time frame now, but these are great. I also have a liquid lipstick we're gonna be trying out from this brand and yeah, the concealers. Baby, they're a 10 out of 10. Now, if you're looking for something super light coverage, I think right out of the bat, these are a thicker coverage, even though medium, it's buildable to full coverage like I have now, but it's pretty thick. So just don't say I didn't warn you. We also have another launch from REM Beauty. We're gonna be trying out some of her lip products as well, honey. And then we have Gwen Stefani brand. Why are there so many lip products? I'm like, oh my God, my lips. But we're gonna get through it today. We're gonna try out a bunch of lip products. I think starting now, cause then I wanna get into the lifestyle stuff that's not makeup. So let's dive in to some lip products. This is Bia VIP Velvet Liquid Lip and it's called Love Me POV. So we're gonna go ahead and try this one out. It's like a mauve color. I will say the paddle on it's like really, really flimsy, kind of like a lip gloss paddle. So it's kind of hard to apply. It feels like the NYX cream, the NYX creamy ones, if you guys know what I'm talking about. This is it. I don't think these dry down. It's very purple. Needs a lip liner. Very soft, feels like velvet on the lips. It reminds me of those NYX whipped creamy little lippies, but it feels nice. I like it. 
Not bad, not my favorite color. I chose this myself, but I couldn't tell online. But overall, not bad. It's just one of those soft, whipped liquid lips. Let's move on to Gwen Stefani's brand. So her brand launched in Sephora. There are other products other than lips. There's a lot of red lips because she is known for her iconic red lip. This is the Shake Well, oh. <laughs> This is the shake well before using. This is the original recipe, extra sauce. It looks like it's one of those super liquidy liquid lips that you gotta give a shake before using. We're gonna try this. I feel like we have to try her classic red. Ooh, ooh, it's like paint. Wow. These have such an interesting texture to them and the applicator is actually really great for applying. It's like if you rub your lips together, it breaks apart. They kind of remind me of the Lady Gaga new paint liquid lips. See, this is so cool. Wait, I think it's like drying down. This is like the exact same thing as the Lady Gaga paint. It's like you paint your lips and then it dries down so it's like a shiny liquid lipstick. I think it's like so cool. Look, <gasps> I think my top lip's still drying. So yeah, you don't wanna like rub your lips together with this, you just wanna apply it, let it dry, and then you kinda have like this really cool liquid lip. Whoa, okay, I'm obsessed. So now we're gonna find out if it stains your lips because I wanna wipe it off to try some of the other products. That's amazing, 10 out of 10. And it like looks cool. <gasps> oh shoot, I remember these don't come off. Baby, once they're on, they're a part of you. I'm trying to break it up. But like, if I let this dry down for hours, I mean, I guess that's a good thing if you have like a red lipstick and you don't want it peeling up and looking crazy. Like, it's a good thing that it doesn't come off easy. Whenever you gotta try out a bunch of different lips, that's where things can get really hairy, you know? It's okay. We can just remove a layer of skin from our lips. <laughs> We got it off. I should have ended with this one, but it's super cool. I really loved it. Now I want to try out her Give Me Yours gloss, and this one's called Fishnet. It looks red, but in person, it's more like a raspberry color, like a plummy raspberry. It just looks red. <laughs> it smells like cupcakes. Mm, this is like a liquid lip. I thought it was a gloss. I was wrong. Yeah, this is just red. So this one's like the lip paint. This one's like an actual liquid lipstick. So they are different, but they actually look similar on the lips. However, the lip paint does look a little more shiny, but I think this is really pretty. She also has a few lipsticks. And this nude color is calling my name. It's called Lovable Me. We're gonna try it out. This is drying down matte, by the way. I got a mess right here, but completely matte, gorgeous. And it comes off really easy compared to the lip paint. I think the lip paint was definitely made for some long wear. This was too, but I think the lip paint's like on another level. My lips hurt. And we're gonna keep going. We're not gonna stop there. So I wanna try this out with one of the REM Beauty. These are their lip liners they just came out with. This one is in Reverb. It's like a darker brown. This one's really dark and maybe too dark. This one's like dark brown. All right, now I wanna try out the Lovable Me because this color looks pretty for fall. These are a matte finish lipstick. So really with these liners, it's all about the blend. So I like to take a little lip brush and blend it out. Okay, and this lipstick color is calling my name. Definitely a favorite. This is giving 90s, Alanis Morissette, a little bit of grunge, perfect for fall. Gorgeous matte finish. Oh my God, what a pair in heaven. You know, these two ladies right here are really doing it. This is definitely one of my favorites. So lovable. It's very matte and kind of a whippy feeling as well. Love that. And then this is the Reverb liner. Just to swatch a few more of her shades, we have Stomp Box. This one has more of a glossy finish. It's like a mauvey pink. This one's also matte. It's called Tragic Me. You guys, I used to, well, I still do, but Gwen Stefani, oh, this is like the same color, but this one's shiny, this one's matte. Really pretty. No Doubt was my Gwen Stefani stage, like no doubt. I was very young when her albums were coming out. I remember the song I'm Just a Girl came out and I was like, that's my anthem. This girl is like my anthem. And I love Gwen because of that no doubt stage. Okay, we have like the exact same three colors going. 
screen my phone calls. So this one, it says a ham shine. This one is the shine and this one is original me. So they have like a different texture in their lines with their lipsticks. But the one that I love the most and that I have on my lips, like this is my favorite for sure, is Tragic Me and it's in the original me formula, which is their matte formula. Bomb.com baby, bomb.com. Wherever we end up today, we're gonna end up with this lip color. These are wonderful, wonderful, lovely. This one's going on my desk to stay. Okay, now we have a couple things from Miss Grande to try out. We have some of her glosses that she came out with. She also came out with a blue one and I watched all the TikTok. I might have it up here. Just kidding, I don't have that. I have the under eye balm, which I should have already used that. I thought I had the blue one. Okay, these are called Lavender Kiss and Pickin' Petals. So cute. I also think these would be great lip toppers. They kind of have her astronaut vibe going. And on them, they have this metal ball, which is supposed to be cooling. Ooh, it does feel good, honey, because my lips feel raw right now from trying all these lip products. <gasps> it feels so good. Kind of just looks like a clear gloss, but it feels wonderful. I actually like this applicator. It literally hugs your lip and it feels really good to apply. So this is the lavender. I'm gonna try the pink, but probably won't be able to tell the difference for real, for real. Also, I like the formula of these glosses because they're not too sticky. Oh, that feels so good. I'm like, yeah. See, it kind of looks the exact same. So if you want to try one of our glosses, just go for it because you're gonna get the same, kind of like the same outcome happening here. But love the formula, Miss Ari. Love the formula. Before we do any more lip products to give my lips a break, she has these old blotting sheets and I'm not looking too oily, but I kind of just want to try one just for shits and giggles. <gasps> oh, I grabbed two. I didn't mean to. Whoopsies. I get shiny on my cheeks, my chin. It did pick it. Look, it picked up more oil from my fingers than anything. How funny. Wow, I'm not even that oily and it picked up all. These are great. And it comes in this little pouch, which you could keep in your bag. Cute. Okay, next she has like this jelly type lipstick it has sparkles in it that she came out with and it's called lip balm. It's just like a lip balm and we're gonna try it out right now. Huh. It looks like a clear lip balm, but it is super cute. Fun packaging It's just a clear lip balm, but I like it. I like it a lot and it actually screws open and close. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so next up we have her liquid lipsticks, which are these right here. And then these are actually stick lipsticks and they look like they're in little astronaut tubes, which is so cute. Liquid lip, I wanna try this dark brown color. It's called Absolutely. This is not a color I would typically reach for, but we're about, it's September, so it's time. Oh, look at that applicator. Kind of interesting, huh? It's like an oval that protrudes. <gasps> Ooh. Wow, these are really pigmented. You can definitely rub your lips together with these. They're not like the painted ones. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and see how it looks dried because I'm curious, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch in the meantime the other two shades. She came out with a bunch of shades, but I just grabbed some of the more colorful ones to try. So this one's called Diva and it's like a pink, but it has like a coral to it. Pretty. And this one is called Yum. Ooh, it's like a mauve color. Really pretty. These, these have like a ton, a ton, a ton of pigment to them. All right, I can feel it drying down. So it appears that these are gonna be more of a matte, look at that, like a matte dry down situation. So I grabbed three of her lipsticks. They have more shades than three. I will say they send they send these to me and I just grabbed some colors. Look, look how skinny that is, how cute. Oh, look at that nude color, yes. Let's watch. So this one's called lingerie. They, oh, these are so pigmented. That was like two swipes, guys. Yes, please. Pretty, love that, mauve brown. Then we have bright red, which is called Attention. What a great name. Whoa, did you guys see that pigment? One swipe, love that, Miss Ari, love that. And then we, these lids are magnetic, by the way. And then I picked this color for fall, it's called CEO, one swipe. Look at that. <gasps> That is like a pretty brick plum, like a brick red, a plum. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow, these are like a dupe for the hourglass ones. These are nice. And they have like an, a magnetic topping. And then her lip liners were super creamy. I tried them out with the Gwen Stefani stuff. They were bomb. And this matte is like matte and kiss proof too. So just kind of run down on her lip products, concealers, blotting lip liners. Honestly, I think she's doing amazing with her line. The products are quality. 
and they all feel really good. I don't have anything that I'm like hating right now. So this has been a great re review. Next, I brought the family in because we're going to be trying Miss Betty Buzz. Betty Buzz. Woo, these are Blake Lively's Club Soda. She has lemon lime, Meyer lemon, and grapefruit, sparkling grapefruit. Aren't we supposed to be drinking these with alcohol? So I ordered the box of them. Like the whole box is you can order like a set. And it's like $7.99 to get four of them. They're like $1.99 each. You guys can find them at your local store or you can order them off her website. I love Miss Blake Lively. I love her. We love Miss Blake Lively. I stand her. We stand her. So what's cute is her husband has a gin business and she's got like ingredients that came in the box to use these as a mixer and like how to mix them with gin or vodka or like what each one is good with. Wait, that's cute. Isn't it cute? Like she says the lemon one is good with whiskey or gin and that this one's good with vodka gin. All of them are good with gin because her husband's aviation gin company is cute. These are non-alcoholic beverages, but clearly they advertise them as a mixer. So we're gonna try them. That makes a little bit of sense why it says buzz. Because one. one of my friends, I'll take this one. Yeah, it I says buzz. It says buzz. One of my on friends it. sounds like this sounds like a seltzer. It's so Right? It, I feel like it should have been an alcohol beverage because I don't know, but can we talk about how cute the glass bottles so are? So Cute. She did that. I she have a feeling that. that these are gonna be like kind of concentrated, so like they're supposed to be for mixing. So us drinking them straight might be. No. I've had one before and it's not bad. This one is pretty good. It's very light to all me. All right, you drink that great in there. That, yeah, that's the only thing. Uh huh. Oh, that is so good. That's not. This tastes like a sugar-free Sprite. Sparkling lemon lime. That's more of the Sprite. Is it? That lime. one's giving really Spritey. What's wrong, Erin? Is it concentrate? This is what you're talking about. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that one's Spritey. That one's, n I'm gonna let you take a sip. This is grapefruit. This one tastes like a sparkling lemon water. Mm -hmm. That one tastes kind of like a Sprite. <laughs> this one has no sugar in it, so this one's uh, great. This one is a Sprite. This one has 16 grams of sugar. That one's loaded with sugar. This one is good, one? but you have to like grapefruit. I did taste, I've tasted all three and I love them. This one has five grams of sugar. So much healthier than a Sprite if you want a Sprite, but don't want this one has zero that. sugar and it's actually, the lemon's my favorite. It's very refreshing to mm -hmm. me. This one is just like a Sprite to me. The grapefruit one mm. is not my mm -mm. favorite. It's very bitter. It, it is, bitter. it'd be good for a mixer. Mm -hmm. good like for a tequila in there. Or vodka, yeah. But yeah. on its own, oh baby. It's a little strong, but if you guys want to try these. 10 out of 10. I, I love them. I think it's so freaking cute. I think Blake Lively can come out with a makeup line anytime she's over here with her Betty Buzz. Okay? Okay. 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 The Betty Buzz. 10 out of 10. Ty? 10 out of 10. I like them. <gasps> Tens across the board. Tens across the board. We're moving on to Lizzo. She came out with Liddy Shapewear, which is being compared a lot to Skims. But I will say, I got it mine in. And it feels completely different from Skims. And I will say like the styling on the website and like the colors are different from Skims. So I don't really think she took inspo from Skims. I think this, like even the logoing, everything is like quite different. I think they just both came out with like shapewear lines at the same time. So of course people are comparing them, but I think they're quite different. So the thing is her line is quite expensive as well as Skims. Like these are $60 unless you sign up for the subscription on like the Fabletics website. So there's that, or you can get them off eBay, but her stuff is pricey. But the material just coming in is thick and it's nice. I got two pair of these because these were highly recommended. And I like this hot pink color. It has the logo wing on it right here, which I thought was pretty interesting. Like you never see anything like this from Skims. So if you can tell like, and the material is like completely different. I have a ton of Skims stuff and the material is completely different. So it's quite different, but I like it. I like it. So these alone were $60. Okay, and then I got this sports bra, which is cool. It's like mesh in the back, and I love a good sports bra. And I think it like crosses over. I'll try it on for you guys so you can see. This was 50 bucks, and then I got the shorts to go with it to wear as a set. So these shorts are the same as the hot pink ones I just sent you guys, but it's a really, really, really thick material. So it feels nice and luxe. It also has like a silky sweat absorbing kind of material within them. So that's pretty interesting there. So I'm gonna try this on together and show you guys what it looks like. Then lastly from Yiddy, cute packaging. 
very colorful and she has sizes extra small up to 5x she also has a nice range to help you get your sizing because she has the inches and the bust, the waist, and the hips for the shapewear. It says it's medium compression. It's not going to roll up on you. Moisture wicking, breathable, chafe free, silver seam technology. Not sure what that means. Sustainably designed. Let's open it up. Ooh, okay. I will say this, this does give me skims a little bit more. It kind of feels like skims, but again, it's shapewear. So I could see where they would look a little more similar. I got the bodysuit because that's what like went so viral and I love so much from skim so I was like I wonder if I like it from here and I grabbed it and it is a snap closure in the bottom and I'm gonna try it on with some jeans and try it out but honey it's like the same sizing like where it's, it, it's tiny and then stretches out but we're gonna give this a go because this could be a real 10 out of 10 baby yes miss wiseo all right for our very last item post malone tied to posty collab on this now he created with like some other founders so this is his yeah. that he created mm -hmm. i thought he liked bud light and he's <laughs> out here creating rose what's going on but we're gonna try it mason number nine you can pick it up at your local bevmo i don't think you can order it online but they sell it everywhere this is a rose that post malone created is this what you drink rose out of i don't know yeah that works this was like 21 dollars, so it's not that pricey Oh, oh, wow. Nice. I thought it was. Is rose not carbonated? It is. It is bubbly. It smells good. Yummy. Mmm. I don't think it's carbonated, honey. It is carbonated. Like it. We're not rose drinkers, if you guys can't tell. Is it good? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Go like this. Good. It's good. Yeah, it's I don't it. Mind it. Like I'm not even that much of a rosé drinker, and this is like a soft, smooth rosé. It doesn't have too much of a bite to it, it's you know. Very mild. Mm -hmm. Super mild. Like I feel like I could sip on this. All right, this guys. Is Laura's a rosé drinker now. Suddenly. She only drinks Post Malone's. This is Mason number nine. <laughs> This is soft. This is smooth. Well, these celebrities are out here killing it. I liked just about every single product. Should it's I go really use some Casamigos? Oh, Jesus. I can see your teeth through the bottle. Did anyone want any of this? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Casamigo shot, 818. We're trying out liquor. <laughs> I won't make it through this video. Wow, that is a really delicious rosé. Sometimes nice. rosés make me like... Here like you. feel like that but cheers to us cheers to my subscribers <laughs> cheers to you well that's it for this video like really there wasn't anything that i like hated and there's normally a product or two which i don't like but everything was so good and i'm really impressed wait real quick on this isn't this a tattoo he has on his face oh my god you're so right i just realized it when i was walking away with it it's from his face we figured it out. We figured it out. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I love you guys. Thank you for being here and watching. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.